Hello guys, I'm here with some Code Ghost gameplay on the map Octane. In this gameplay, I'll see an AK Tail for Sun 6 Den Mag. My perk loadout for this game, I can't remember yet. I need to really go over my perk loadouts and stuff like that. I can definitely remember my special loadout for this game was Slayer Fan, Scam the Dead Suns. My special bonus was Hardline, Blind Eye, um, Quick Draw, and the perk that shows up no skulls when you kill people so they won't know like where their teammates and die and stuff. Because a lot of people rely on that perk and stuff, so I find the perk really helpful. So, yeah. This is a King Strike on the map Octane, guys. I can't remember how fast this is, but it's a pretty slow King Strike. So I play it quite careful when it comes when it's coming towards the end of the like when I hit 20ish, because I died quite a lot one off the King Strike and stuff like that. And on this map, I like to patrol this area of the map. This is a really nice area on the map to patrol and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend you guys to hang around this area, like near the strip club or the little motel area. If you hold off that area, you'll definitely get a King Strike, or you'll definitely get some people running towards you. The other side of the map isn't too good because of the rooftop and stuff like that. In this place you can just look out the little cracks in the walls and buildings and just pick people up as they run through the middle or if they come from top of the rooftops. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay and in this gameplay guys I'm going to be talking about the biggest changes in COD Ghosts or what people had to adjust to the most and um, what in my opinion was the biggest changes and stuff like that. <coughs> So the first thing guys which people had to adjust massively to in this gameplay or gameplay in this game was the health the health or how strong the guns were, I'm not too sure on what one it is, it's either guns or the health. That's a major issue in there, thank god I didn't die, I would have raged so hard if I did die there. But the health and all the guns in this game guys, they're extremely strong or extremely low for the health and you die extremely fast in this game unlike in other cards, this has to be like the best cod for uh, hit detection and stuff like that so that's why you might die so fast and with the health being quite low that doesn't help either to be honest because it will just make you die even faster than before um, <clears throat> also another thing is the maps the maps in this cod are a massive change to previous cods they don't have any like uh, H lanes like in Black Ops 2 like they had three lanes just going down the middle and they all connected up at some point in this map it's just all scattered across and you got to make your own way and there's a lot of places where people can come from to kill you when you're rushing around the map and stuff like that you can't do a full circle around the map like on MW3 to rush around and stuff like that these maps don't play anything like that you got to hold off one side of the map and if you try to patrol the whole map and it's just not going to work out well for you because there's a lot of people where people can hide and stuff because there's a lot of flaws on this uh, in this game with the maps and stuff by flaws I mean like there's a lot of levels like the ground floor and on top of buildings and stuff like that a good example of this is flooded or chasm those two maps are really retarded it's like four or three floors on those maps and it's just really confusing to know where people are when they shop on the map because you don't know if they're above below or on the same floor as you so you got to try to figure that out and stuff like that also, some other stuff that people had to adjust to is the specialist bonus. The specialist bonus had a massive hit in this game. The specialist bonus got nerfed massively, unlike in Ender 3 where you unlocked all perks and stuff like that. In this game, you only get to unlock a certain amount. You don't get to unlock all 30 perks or however many it is. I'm not going to go around counting them all up and stuff, so I don't know how much there is. But <clears throat> yeah, I can't think of anything else that people had to adjust to massively. Um, maybe the kill streaks and stuff like that, some of the low kill streaks. Um, definitely the, what do you call it, Oracle and the dog. Those two things are massive pain in the ass. The spawns are pretty weird as well, something you gotta adjust to in every single cod. The new spawn system and stuff like that. In this spawn system, guys, I'm not too sure on what the hell they were thinking, but it's definitely not that good to be honest. They can sometimes spawn around the corner from you, or you spawn in front of someone. Or in someone's to find the when they're using snap and stuff and like that. It's just a lot of bullshit and stuff. But I can deal with it in this game as long as you get the perfect lobby. Another thing people you uh, people had to adjust to in the game, in my opinion, is the explosives. The explosives are extremely powerful in this game. Or you just, or they just, yeah, just they're just extremely powerful in this game. Never pick up the king shot, guys. The explosives are extremely powerful, they kill you all the time, no matter what, like using IED, 7 Texas grenades, anything, you name it, they'll kill you all the time. So yeah, it's coming towards the end of the gameplay now guys, the King Strike's going off right now. This gameplay had no sound because the uh, actual recording messed up, so I had to drag it from like one of the backup folders and stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like and a comment if you did. Subscribe if you're new and if you want to see more stuff like this from me, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video that I'll commentate over, which should be on... Monday or Tuesday. So yeah, adios.